All right, guys, and this chest should be coming in with, um, once I get it, 86 thieving. Yeah. So the thieving levels have been going up very easily. I got like three levels today, I think, and I was busy for a while today as well. So uh, very easy. Um, I've been back at dorb chests. I wasn't able to do them earlier because my internet connection was actually really bad. I wasn't able to blackjack either, actually, um, which was really annoying. Um, so I ended up just um, taking a nap. I was planning to just sleep for an hour and then come back and hope that my internet was better. Instead, I slept for like four and a half hours and it was 8 p.m. when I went to sleep and I woke up at like 12.30 a.m. <laughs> and so I've been up from then since now it's like 3 a.m. and it's Sunday so I have school today but it's like the weirdest sleep thing that just happened. I'm like never up at 3 a.m. on um, like school nights. <laughs> But I mean, I've gotten like four hours of sleep or like three and a half hours of sleep already. So I'm just going to go to sleep again soon for another like three hours or whatever. And I'll have the, the right amount. So hopefully I won't get too tired. <laughs> but yeah, 86 thieving looking pretty good. 91 is going to be really easy. I'll have that within a few days, definitely within the next week. Uh, but I probably will be kind of busy this week with um, a few different things. I have to buy and do Christmas shopping because I'm lazy and haven't done it yet. I have to do some college applications, which I may or may not actually do, but I have to get them done before January 1st anyway, so I have to do them sometime in the next couple weeks. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it, but yeah, that'll take up a lot of time. So, uh, my hours this week might be a little bit slow, I'm not exactly sure. I'll have to see, but um, either way, I should definitely be able to get 91 thieving. I mean, this, this shit's like 270k an hour, um, and I only need like 2.3 million more XP. So, you know, it's less than 10 hours of doing thieving. And even with freaking blackjacking, if I can't do, um, if I can't do door chests for whatever reason, if it's too busy at certain times, I can still blackjack and get like 250k plus XP per hour. It's really good. So either way, super fast XP and I can easily get this in like probably like three days ish is my guess, uh, which is pretty nice to see. All right. So for anyone who's wondering how I'm going to get the Dwarven Stouts, this is how, um, you just go to the pub in Berthor for this guy Toss Digger right here. He uh, has 12 in stock and you can right click trade on him so you don't have to go to Falador and do the chat like one at a time, that would be kind of stupid. Uh, but yeah, you can buy them here, you can buy them in the games room, right near the teleport spot there's a pub where you can buy them with the same exact stock as Tostic. Uh, but I think this is probably easier just because the bank is right down there. But yeah, this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to need about 250 if I calculated correctly for 87 to 88. Um, so I'm going to bank that many and then I'll be set for that. But yeah, this takes, it'll probably take you like 10 minutes tops to actually, uh, oops, yeah, like 10 minutes tops to actually bank the Dwarven Stouts for, um, 87 to 88, and it's, like, nearly twice the XP rate, uh, not quite, but, you know, pretty close to twice the XP rate making, uh, Addy Plates versus doing Blast from Superheating, so definitely worth doing. But yeah, there's one thing that's annoying about quick hopping banking, if you have a pin, you have to enter a pin every single time. It's tempting to just not use a pin, because pins are really just a waste of XP, but, um, I don't know, it seems, it seems like a worthy precaution. kind of wish that you could, like, have more settings on your bank pin just to be able to change it around and stuff to make it suit your needs a little bit better. But anyways, yeah, this is how I'm planning to get my uh, Dwarven Stouts, and I'm pretty much already done anyways, and I've been doing this for hardly any time at all, so yeah. Okay, guys, coming in with level 88 thieving, so I've gotten a couple more levels today. I actually uh, hardly played any RuneScape at all yesterday, which uh, was kind of weird. What ended up happening is that I... Uh, I did my homework and then um, got to be about 7.30 and then I logged into RuneScape and my internet was absolute shit so I was like fuck this I'll just take a nap and um, I'll come back to it in a few hours when I wake up and I ended up sleeping for 11 hours. I slept from 7.30pm uh, to 6.30am when I got up for school. Uh, for some reason I did not wake up to my alarm. <laughs> So yeah, uh, yeah, I wasted a lot of time yesterday, which kind of sucks. Uh, I don't know why that happened really, but uh, it leads me to think that maybe my sleeping schedule, or just making myself sleep less in general, isn't necessarily the greatest idea because clearly my body wants more sleep, um, but at the same time I don't think it was really necessary for me to sleep 11 hours, so I don't know. Um, it's hard for me to exactly know, but a lot of people have been asking about my polyphasic sleeping schedule. Basically the, the results of it are I can't do it because I am never home at 3.30, except for like maybe two days a week. <laughs> it fucking sucks, but yeah, I can't really do it. There's not any time of, of the day where I'm home at that time every 
every day of the week besides like between 11 p.m. and like 6 a.m., which is just normal sleeping time anyways. So I can't really do it very well at this point in my life, which kind of sucks, but um, I have just been trying to uh, keep myself on like six and a half to seven hours of sleep a day, um, but it hasn't always been working out exactly as I in intend. So I'll keep, I'm probably going to keep trying. I kind of just like the feeling of taking random naps just whenever I feel kind of tired. I'll just take a nap and then get up and try to just spread my sleeping time out throughout the day rather than just sleeping for one block. Because I found that it makes it f me feel like I have sort of more time available and more flexibility in my schedule and in my life and stuff, which I really like. So I probably will continue to do that, but I need to uh, make my alarm louder or something so that I actually wake up when I... <laughs> when I um, intend to rather than sleeping for fucking ever um but anyways yeah 88 thieving is pretty nice i have some uh, studying and homework and shit to do now though so i probably should get off but at least i made some decent progress today i'm still averaging like i'm averaging like 280k xp per hour at doing this now and if i focus really hard i could get like about 300k per hour which is fucking crazy but my internet has been really shitty for the past couple days and luckily it's been nice today so i'm hoping it'll stay that way but yeah having bad internet is really 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 bad for doing door chest because like DC whenever you're quick hopping brings you to log out and you have to wait 60 seconds before you can log back in because it leaves your account locked in so you just lose your XP rate is like fucking ridiculous um, so yeah that doesn't work out very well but I probably will get 91 thieving in uh, like a couple days maybe this weekend I don't know and then after 91 thieving I'll move on to some bank skills um, I'll just be sitting at Varrock West for a while buying up supplies for smithing, herbal, and crafting, and working on training those skills. And then uh, probably also buying up some supplies for Slayer, since I want to do some Slayer as well. So, buying, so I will be buying up <laughs> some cannonballs and some parapots and some uh, super potions and stuff, and doing some Slayer as well. Which will be really cool. At the moment I probably won't, or I, I don't really think I'll be streaming any of this door chest, just because way too easy for somebody to crash, because you can only have like four people at once doing this, or else uh, they're just there's only so many worlds and um, otherwise it doesn't work out um, and luckily I really haven't had any problems at all doing this um, which is really cool like there haven't been any time that I've went to do door chest and couldn't because of other players which is really surprising to me because this is like the best thieving XP in the game it's a lot faster than pyramid plunder um, but a lot of people just choose not to do it for whatever reason um, maybe more people will do it if they see this video so maybe I shouldn't uh, expose it but you know, it's it's true that this is the best method for thieving in the game, as far as I know, anyways. Um, somebody did do a 16 mil day record of thieving. I have no fucking idea how they did that, but it may have been either glitching or just something that I don't know. But most of the records are done either with door chests or pyramid plunder. And I probably will do some pun plunder once I hit 91+, plus, just because I really enjoy plunder. But this is still a better XP, so probably most of my thieving XP will come from this, as long as it remains viable. Um, but yeah, I should probably go do some studying because I have some finals tomorrow and shit. It's not going to be fun. But yeah. Oh, am I going to DC? So this is what happens. Like, sometimes I just DC, um, and sometimes it ends up connecting, but it takes forever, and it's just really, really annoying. Props to the guy who made this, uh, login screen. It looks really, really nice. I think his name is Woobers or something. I read the, uh, the post today on the homepage, but yeah, this, this login screen is so nice. It's really cool to see one of these, uh, Again, because we haven't really seen one since... I don't think they've done one since, like, really old skills came out. Like, they did one for, like, Hunter and Summoning and stuff. But you haven't done much like this in a while, and it's just really nice to see. It's really... gets you in the holiday spirit and stuff. Okay, so I just finished off the, um... the entire Christmas event, and I unwrap these gifts and get the, uh, outfit. I did also do the, uh, anti-Santa thing as well, so that I could get, um... the anti-Santa top that you get today, and I think you get the rest of the stuff later on, but yeah, the <laughs> Santa outfit is pretty nice looking, um, I like it, uh, I probably, the, like, the fat belly is a little bit, eh, but overall I think it's really well, uh, designed, and props to Ghost on that one, but also two of all of the, uh, Christmas rares, which is kind of nice, I might wear around a, par uh, not a party hat, a Santa hat a bit, just to be in the, uh, in the Christmas spirit, um, but yeah, pretty nice event, uh, and nice to, uh, see the community stuff that they're doing and stuff too. Got a couple tr uh, spirit trees to check on, which is pretty nice. I have my second one grown in uh, Etzeteria. I think it's Etzeteria, one of the two. 
or miscellanea, um, which is pretty nice. Uh, I think I'm actually going to plant one. Oh, damn it. That's annoying. <laughs> I have to come back here. Uh, I should have thought of that. That's a pain in the ass. All right, so I have to go to miscellanea, get rid of that one, and then um, I'm actually going to plant one in Brimhaven this time just because uh, I want to go there to get a second agility cape for, because for some reason when I got an agility cape I only got one and I have two of every other cape that I have and it's really annoying me just because I yeah it's annoying so I'm gonna buy a second cape and that will make my tab look nice so I don't just have a, a single of one of them but yeah using the old summer pie to boost to be able to plant two spirit trees which is pretty uh, nice to be able to do um, so yeah, I have to go back to Draenor now and plant one, and also go to uh, Brimhaven and plant one as well. So uh, Ebola confirmed, this NPC clearly confirms that Ebola is real. Um, there's one planted, I got myself another agility cape, nice looking one right there. Um, and I'm going to go back to Draenor, get that other tree planted, and uh, I'll need to use the summer pie for that one. I'm actually really liking how the Santa hat looks. The Santa hat is an item that I hardly ever wear they ever have worn. Um, I don't know if I ever owned one. Actually, I did own one a few years ago when they were probably like 150 mil or so. I bought one and it went up to like one. I think I bought it actually for like 130 and went up to like 170. So I actually made some money off of it. Well, I need an energy potion. Um, but I only bought it because of the money. But I did. I did end up wearing it sometimes because it's kind of nice looking. Keeps me in the uh, the holiday spirit. But especially with the the gray hair that I have or white hair, whatever you want to call it. It actually uh, matches pretty well. Okay, so this is why um, Dwarf Chess is currently not worth doing. Um, I think it's pretty much for everyone, but as you can see, Quick Hawking is taking forever. Um, it's like 10 plus seconds for a lot of worlds. I don't know why, I think it's just because the servers have been laggy lately, but I mean, it's the difference between 300k an hour and 200k an hour. It's kind of ridiculous, so. Um, it's currently faster to just do blackjacking, so that's probably what I'm going to go and do. That's what I was doing yesterday, and I did, I uh, can't check my stats now because I just hopped again. See, some worlds hop fine, like that's the normal speed, but other worlds are just really, really slow, and that's the problem, but yeah. Currently 89 thieving, and I'm going to see if I can try to get 91 tonight. I'm not sure if that'll happen, though, um, but I should be able to get 91, like, tomorrow or something. And then I'll, that'll be another uh, goal out of the way, um, which will be pretty nice. Thieving is taking longer than expected, mostly just because... I've been really lazy this week, I don't know, I don't know what's going on, but I've just been sleeping a lot more than I usually do, and sort of just being a bum, which is uh, not something I commonly do, but uh, it's currently happening for whatever reason, but I'm going to try to uh, stay focused a little bit more, and uh, my two weeks of vacation are going to be really nice, and I'll have a lot of free time to uh, focus on my own pursuits a bit more than I have been in the past uh, so long, but... I do still need to apply to college, and there's deadlines coming up soon, so that's something I need to set, spend some time on outside of RuneScape. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping that won't take too long. Um, I applied to one college already, and it was pretty easy, but that was not using the Common App, which is what I'm going to use for most colleges, but pretty much have everything done besides an essay, which is just stressful because, you know, it's hard to uh, be confident in an essay when there's so much that you could do better, and you never really know like who's reading it and what they expect and stuff. Okay guys, so I just hit level 90 thieving which is pretty nice to see. I'm going to see if I can still get the 91 before I uh, head off to bed tonight because that would be really nice to, to uh, get. But you might notice that I did actually change my username to Hexus Aubrey. Um, Hexus is doing like a high, well, they're calling it a high scores raid where just a lot of people are in Hexus are changing their name to have Hexus in front of it. Um, so I figured I'd do it in the uh, clan spirit, so I'll have the name Hexus Aubrey for the next month, and then I'll change back to my uh, reg regular Aubrey username. And I also actually put the name Autumn LG on my uh, Iron Man account so that nobody could take it, because once I, like, it was reserved for, I don't know if it was six months or what, but it was reserved for quite a while since I'd had that username for a very long time. Um, but now that I've changed my name to something else besides uh, the first thing that I changed it from Autumn LG to, um, now that name became available. And uh, luckily, a friend of mine actually uh, informed me of that, because otherwise I probably wouldn't have realized, and then somebody may or may not have uh, stolen the username, which would have not been very good, since that is my uh, YouTube name. I've been kind of debating lately whether I want to change my YouTube name to Aubrey, just because, you know, that's my username, and, like, 
any new subscribers probably don't know what Autumn Allergy means, and I've probably gained, like, more than doubled my channel since I changed my name to Aubrey. Actually, I, yeah, I definitely have, because I changed it in, like, August. My old username was Autumn Allergy, for anyone who doesn't know that, and that's why it's my YouTube channel name. Um, but yeah, I've been considering changing my YouTube name to Aubrey, just because it's kind of more catchy, it's a single word, and it's also my username, so it's more recognizable. But at the same time, I've been Autumn Allergy for a long time, and all of my art is Autumn Allergy, so I'd have to do a whole bunch of, uh like changing around my channel art and have to change the name and like people that have maybe have seen my channel once or twice but chose not to subscribe the first time or whatever and maybe if they come back and notice again they'll be like oh yeah this guy and then I'll subscribe they may not realize it's the same person if I change my uh, YouTube name so I've been sort of in that debate with myself ever since I actually changed my username um, and I haven't come to a decision yet but if any of you guys have any thoughts on that what, what, what do you think I should uh change my, user, my YouTube name or keep it the same, then definitely uh, let me know. But, yeah, I've been I've been sort of, like, I was considering, like, bringing the idea to you guys, but I didn't really think it's that big of a deal because it's just my YouTube channel name. It's not, like, a huge deal, but at the same time, it is sort of important. So, yeah, if any of you guys are uh, care at all about that, definitely leave some opinions in the comment section below. But, yeah, for now, I am going to uh, be seeing if I can bust out the 91 thieving before I head off to bed. It's, like, two hours... And it's like 10 right now, so stay up kind of late. But I only have a half day at school tomorrow because it's the last day before vacation. So if I'm tired, I can just like, take a nap for a few hours after school. Then I have work, which is all sorts of fun. But then after that, I've got some serious free time. It's going to be awesome. And I think um, after I finish with thieving for 91, I'm going to probably do some Slayer. Um, I'm going to go do some bank skills first and just buy up some supplies. So I'm going to be buying up... Um, a ton of stuff. Basically, I'm gonna be buying up crafting, herbal ore, slayer, and smithing supplies. So, it, and also uh, seeds. So, I'll probably do some streams where I'm just like buying and selling shit. Cause I probably, I, well, I definitely have some stuff to sell too. Like, I have a whole bunch of gold bars still, and a bunch of random shit that I need to get sold. But I have a lot more stuff that I need to buy. So, I'll be buying cannonballs and prayer pots. I'll be buying addy bars. I'll be buying battle stabs and air orbs, and I'll be buying. Um, Probably Lantidimes and uh, Dragon Scales. Or, or maybe, I'll probably either make Super Defense or um, Anti Fires because I want to keep it a little bit cheaper and Herbal is fast no matter what, pretty much. So um, I'm not too worried about making brews or whatever because brews are really, really expensive to make as far as I know. But I'll have to do some more research when I actually get to it. Herbal is just an annoying skill, but I'm only going to get like the absolute minimum that I would ever need for the diaries because. After the diaries come out, it's going to become a lot easier since Zahur will be able to um, make your potions into unfinished or make your herbs into unfinished potions for 200 GP each, which will be six. So I'm only going to do the minimum amount that I'll need to to be able to actually get that. Um, so probably either 85 or 86 herbal will be my goal, and then I don't really need to do any more past that. But even so, that's still a lot of herbs. So um, yeah, I don't exactly remember. Let's see what XP would 85 be. Oh shit. Not focusing. That's what happens when you pay attention. But yeah, 85 is 3.25 mil, so I need at least like 1.3 mil uh, herbal XP, which is probably close to like 10k herbs, which sucks. Herbs just take so long to buy. But yeah, I'll have to get that. <clears throat> uh, excuse me, I'll have to get that done. Um, but I'll probably just end up buying multiple different types of herbs and secondaries at the same time. So otherwise it probably wouldn't be like it's probably not feasible to just do one potion unless I want to like spend a lot of time buying build them up and then use them all but I'd rather just get it done so yeah we'll see about that but 91 thieving should be coming up pretty soon and then on to uh, bigger and better things hey there it is 91 thieving over and done with so um, that's all I'm going to leave thieving for now um, I can enter the eighth and final room of the Jalsavra tombs in Sofanem so that should be the highest requirement for anything as far as thieving, as far as I know. Um, I don't think there's anything above 91, so I should be all set for any type of thieving requirement. And I, my, I would guess that this would be a requirement for diaries. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head over to Varrock West, and I'm going to do a whole lot of uh, trading and working, work on buying up some supplies for smithing, crafting, and herbalore, and also slayer. And then I'm going to be working on those skills. Alright guys, so I am currently crafting battle stabs, and I actually bought a lot of money into battle stabs and also adding bars. I'll show you guys in the bank after this inventory. I have lots of supplies, but I'm still buying a few more things. Um, but I definitely will have the stuff by the time this video is out. So 
Over 10k battle staffs, that is a shitload of money. That's like 80 plus mil <laughs> right there. Um, and then 4k air orbs, those aren't nearly as much. Um, I also have 6.5k Addy bars and uh, I have Addy plates somewhere in my bank. Yeah, I've already made a bunch of Addy plates um, and I'm going to keep making those. I have enough for like probably mid through level 88 uh, smithing right now in Addy bars, which is nice. And the uh, the battle stabs that I have right now will be enough to get me to like 85-ish, 85, 86 crafting. And I'm going for 87 actually because... Um, 87 is, re is required for making a Dorgashun light orb, and I can see that being like a weird random requirement since it's one of the highest level things besides making onyx uh, jewelry, and I kind of doubt they would do onyx jewelry just because of the cost of making it and prices would go crazy. Um, I was originally thinking of just getting 84, but I think 87 is a safe bet. I mean, I could stew these anyways um, and do it from lower levels, but I may as well just get the levels since I'm going to max, um, so may as well just get the skills done and have a bit higher of a total level in the meantime. Um, just not have to waste the time stewing and stuff. So that's the plan for now. I think I'd still need maybe like 4k more staves, um, and obviously like 10k more air orbs. But yeah, I've been doing lots of trading and getting lots of trades done. Um, oh shit, palm tree seeds. Let's get my cash for that one. So yeah, I've been buying seeds too, um, because I want to get 99 farming banked ASAP. Uh, but I've mostly been focusing on getting supplies for crafting herblore and smithing. I haven't gotten many herblore supplies, unfortunately, um, but it's just really hard to buy those. Okay, so a few crafting levels in. I've uh, made probably around half of my battle stabs at this point, and I've just been doing even more trading, working on building up more supplies and everything. Um, but I do uh, still need to buy some more air orbs and battle stabs to finish off 87 crafting, but yeah. 5.6k battle staffs left and 4.8k air battle staffs crafted, which is nice to see. My cash stack is uh, scarily low, but you know, it's all an item, so I'm not actually losing too much doing this. Doing air uh, battle staffs is less than 2 GB per XP loss, so it's really, really cheap crafting and it's really good. Um, and I have a whole bunch of money in these magic longbows, and that's enough to get me 99 fletching. I just need to finish it off at some point, so if I ever don't have anything else to make while I'm at the bank, then I'll do that. I also purchased um, some cannonballs, I have 13k cannonballs right now, and I got some prayer potions, so I'm pretty much set for Slayer. Um, I'm going to buy some Eyes of Newt, and use all of the irrits that I have to make super attack potions, and also I'm going to buy some Limpert Roots, and use all these quarms to make super strength potions, which I'm going to use for Slayer. Um, it would actually be a little bit more efficient to use um, Zamorak Brews, but Zamorak Brews are significantly more expensive, and I don't really think that their benefit outweighs the cost, because it's like one or two higher um, attack bonus when you when you use a Zamorak Brew. Um, they also do restore some of your prayer though, so I'll consider it, but I don't know. Only I'll probably only do that if I can make them myself because, you know, it'd be good to get Herbal XP in the, in, uh, in the process, and I'm actually going to be farming Torsals. So if I can buy Jenger Berries, then maybe I'll end up using uh, Zamorak Brews, but otherwise probably not. Um, but yeah, also actually I've been buying some more seeds. I've got lots of uh, Torsal seeds building up now, especially a lot of Palm Seeds. Magic seeds are really hard to buy, oh my god. Um, but yeah, palm seeds are a lot easier to buy than magic seeds. Still not easy, but you know, they come in a lot more frequently, and torsal seeds are coming in pretty nicely too. Um, I don't know if I'm really going to make much profit with torsal seeds, because I'm buying them for like 50k each right now, but I'm not really too bothered about that, it's just nice farming XP, and the torsals can be used, either just sold or used for herblore if they end up being worth doing. But yeah, also been buying a lot of herbs. 2.2k lantanimes, and lantanimes are the primary ones that I'd like to use because um, doing anti-fire potions is pretty uh, cheap for herbal right now. But I'm also buying cadentines and dwarfweeds just so I can actually have some herbs to use because um, otherwise it's just, you know, herbs are another thing that's just really, really hard to buy, you know. Herbs and seeds, fucking bitch to buy those things. It's just they're not common enough in the game. It sucks, but yeah. That's what I'm working on right now. Um, Still going on the crafting and I've still got plenty of supplies left and I still have a lot of supplies for um, smithing too, but I definitely need to buy some more Addy Bars. It's just a matter of um, getting some of these air battle staves sold because that's where the bulk of my money is right now is in these battle staves. Okay, so I'm back to some farm runs now that I have some seeds ready to go. I don't have too many um, magic seeds, but I'll just make do with what I have for now. I may as well do some runs, so I'm just going to keep up with the... Uh, tree runs, uh, herb runs, and probably do like one bush run a day or so because bushes use the uh, poison ivy berries to pay off of the calquats and get a bit of farming XP anyways, so I may as well do those. Seems worth it to me. 
um, but I have been buying up poison ivy seeds. They don't, they're not that easy to buy, but they're not very expensive, so they're not like a huge concern really. But yeah, this right here is my entire cash stack currently. <laughs> so yeah, I need to sell off some stuff currently. I can't really buy anything else. I don't know why it's taking me so long to load when I'm teleporting. This is actually really unusual, but uh, Varrock is weird looking. But anyways, yeah, my cash stack is the lowest. It's, like, it's been a very, very long time. Um, but, you know, it'll, it'll be back up as, as usual very soon. Just because I have most of my money in, in item. Hey, 87 crafting. I had to do a trade, but yeah, that means that I can make Dorgashun light orbs, which is um, probably, or not probably, but possibly a requirement for um, diaries. And I should I should definitely be able to do anything, because the highest crafting requirement for anything is level 90, as far as I know. Um, and I can boost over 90 if I used a stew, so I should be all set with crafting. I'm just going to finish off the last few supplies of battle staffs that I have, and then I'm going to move on to doing some smithing, because I have managed to stack up a good amount of uh, adamant bars. I still need probably around 10 to 12k more, but I'm doing pretty well in that in that area, and uh, smithing will be quite fast, making Addy plate bodies. Yeah, 15k Addy bars, and I think I need like 27k more, so yeah, like or 27k total. So yeah, like 12k more. So that'll take a little while to buy, but I should be able to get it. Um, I think I should be able to buy, hopefully buy more than I use, but I don't know if that's necessarily true. I guess I'll find out. Okay, so looking at farming supplies, I'm looking really, really good for uh, seeds. I've managed to purchase quite a lot today. Actually, one trade where I bought 50 magic seeds in one trade, which is fucking crazy. If you've ever bought magic seeds, you'll know how difficult they are to buy, and about 95% of the time you get one per trade. Um, so yeah, I've, I've built up a good amount of magics and palms, and I have some... Uh, magic and palm saplings too, and I have 120 torsal seeds as well, um, which is awesome. Calquat seeds, uh, I probably need less than 100 for 99 farming, cause just because they take a lot longer to grow, and there's only one patch, uh, but I probably need another like 30 or so of those. Um, but yeah, farming supplies are looking really good. I probably still need in between like 300, or probably around 300 more of each of these two seeds, um, which is going to be a hit to the bank, but um, the torsals will make a bit of money back and also save me some... Uh, uh, farming XP that would otherwise be need to uh, need to uh, come from the tree seeds, and I'm also going to be doing poison ivy uh, to get berries that will either pay for calquats or just be a little bit extra profit. Um, so farming is looking really good. That'll last me a while, even after I am doing things where I'm not just buying items. And uh, so I got almost 16k eddy bars now, and I've made a few more plates. Um, and I actually got some pretty nice herbalor supplies too. I have 3.3k lance, 3.7k uh, cantine. 1.8k dwarf, uh, which is pretty nice. That'll get me a good amount of herbal XP, and I got a ton of dragon scale dust. I got like way more than uh, the amount of lentidines that I have because I want to do lentidine potions for as much as I possibly can because they're the uh, best for GP per XP right now. Um, but I also managed to pick up some white berries. Uh, move these up here with my other secondaries. White berries are used for uh, the cadentines to make super defense potions, which are decent. They're a little bit expensive, but they're not terrible and these three herbs are pretty low in price, so you don't have to be paying like 7, 8k for an herb, so you don't have to have nearly as much money tied up in supplies, which is also a really nice thing. And look at this, this was added this week, I believe, the collect option on Advisor Grim. It's freaking awesome. And I think that also makes it so you can um, check, I, I collected, but I think that it makes it so you can check your uh, this screen right here without collecting, um, which means that you can continually stock and potentially build up a ridiculous amount of things in the cop or whatever I don't know what's called like the reward chest or something I don't know if there's a limit to how much you can have in there but yeah that would be kind of interesting to see if you could just build up a whole bunch of shit in there but I probably won't do that just because I like to have the stuff stacking at my bank rather than something that I'm not actually seeing uh, but yeah it's actually really nice to have this stuff 100% thank you I don't know why he just did that because um, <clears throat> I'll be seeing some herbs and seeds coming in which are both things that are uh, very important to me at this moment. Alright guys, so I just hit level 88 smithing, which means no more Dwarven Stouts. Um, they were annoying, but definitely worth doing, um, because the XP right here is like over, uh, old, not over, but a significantly uh, larger amount of XP per hour than any other smithing method that you would really be doing, basically superheating. This is around 240k an hour if you're doing it really efficiently. Um, and superheating is 100k, blast burn superheating is like 135, so definitely worth doing even though you do have to get the Dwarven Stouts, but if any of you guys are wondering and want to do this from 87 instead of from 88, um, I ended up buying like 260 Dwarven Stouts, I still have 116 left, 
So you're, in, you're probably going to end up using about 150 Dwarven Stouts um, to do 87 to 88 smithing. Um, and it really didn't feel like that long of a time at all. I mean, it's like around two hours, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, but 88 smithing is really nice. I'm going to be working towards at least level 90. I'll probably stop at level 90 for a little while and then maybe uh, do a few more levels later on. But I'm, I'm kind of actually looking forward to doing some Slayer. Um, but I also need to do some Herb Lore. I have more Herbs banked. Uh, once again, it's really nice to see. Um, over 4k Lantanams now, which is sick. Um, so that's going to add up some really nice XP. I might actually have 86 banked if I decide to use my um, Marks of Grace on Amylase. Um, because that would get me a nice amount of herbal XP if I did, if I chose to do that. I'll have to check on the pricing and see whether I want to do that or not. But I just really like my stack of Marks of Grace, and I'd be kind of sad to part ways with it. But I'll have to do some t at some point because the amylase, like those marks, are worth like 20 to 30 mil in amylase. Um, so it'd be good to get those used and sold and everything and get the herbal XP out of the way. But it would kind of suck if I ever chose to do post 99 agility and then didn't have the ammo or have the marks so I couldn't see my like full long term stack of marks. Alright guys so I'm currently just doing some fletching, I'm gradually working my fletching up. Um, still at 97 but I'm only like 300k to 98. Basically I just do fletching whenever I need to AFK or just feel like being lazy but for the most part I don't spend too much time fletching but I will gradually get this up to 99, I just don't really care that much about whether it's 99 or not because it's fletching. Um, but yeah, it'll be nice to get this out of the way. I just need to fletch another, like, I think it's like 17k bows. <clears throat> oh my god. Yeah, it's it's Sunday morning right now. That's why I sound like a frog. Um, but yeah, that's that's what I've been doing. Fletching is just sort of a little bit here and there, and gradually it'll get to 99 and be done. And I do intend to do post-99 fletching. Um, I'm probably going to buy a lot of bolt supplies for things like Slayer and Woodcutting, um, and fletch bolts while doing those skills, because... My long-term goal, post nine or post max, is high XP and maybe someday top page. That's sort of like a end game goal, which would be really sick to get. Who knows if I'll get there? But I do want to have high XP and fletching bolts is obviously super efficient because you're wasting no time. Um, so that would be always good to do. I probably will unlock uh, broad bolt fletching because I don't think I've done that yet. Um, I'll do that when I do some Slayer because I am planning to do some Slayer in the next uh, week, probably even less than that. Um, basically I just need to do a few more smithing levels and then I'm probably going to do Slayer next. Uh, actually I might do Herb Lord just because I have all those herbs ready to go, but yeah Slayer is going to be coming up pretty soon so that'll be fun. I know that lots of people are always asking me when I'm going to do Slayer and you know some Slayer is going to be happening pretty soon. It's only going to be 80 to 85 but it'll be at least like a week of Slayer I would guess so it's going to be pretty solid. Some interesting content and I'll definitely try to stream that. Um, the reason I haven't been streaming in the past week is because Shit internet. My internet is fucking terrible. I hate it. I Yesterday I um, was DCing all day, you know, like I play for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, maybe an hour. DC to log out, I have to wait like 5 minutes and I can get back in. It's fucking annoying and I wouldn't be able to stream. It's been happening this morning too. So yeah, it sucks. Um, but I really can't stream like that because my stream would just go offline once every like 20 minutes and it would be ridiculous. And I don't really want to do that to you guys, so... Yeah, I know I said I'd be streaming more, I'll try to, but it's just, I have so many things in my way, my computer sucks and it's laggy, my internet sucks, it's shit, and, <laughs> like, certain skills I wouldn't really want to stream, like, thieving, um, and also just been really busy, you know, school and work makes it hard to stream, but for the next two weeks I am on vacation, which is sick, so I'm gonna try to get as much XP as I can, and, um, see if I can get some streams in, too. Um, this week I will be kind of busy still. Um, Tuesday is my girlfriend's birthday, Wednesday is Christmas Eve, so I'll be doing some stuff with family, and Thursday is Christmas, so I'll be doing stuff with family that day too. Um, so yeah, I'll be kind of busy this week, but I'll still definitely be able to play more than I normally can at school, I think, and then the following week I don't really have much lined up. I have to work like one extra day, but nothing crazy, and then I'll definitely have some more time to play during that time, and that's probably when I'll be doing a lot of Slayer. Um, so I'll have some nice Slayer streams and some nice content for you guys that have been looking forward to seeing me kill things since that's not something I've done for a while. But yeah, that'll be fun. I'm looking forward to Slayer. I really enjoy doing Slayer. It's just that I've been putting it off because of the fact that Slayer always gets to be faster XP because everyone likes Slayer and wants it to be updated. And so I may as well just wait as long as I can because, you know, faster XP is always more beneficial for me if I'm going for max. 
But anyways, guys, hopefully you have enjoyed this video. It definitely is a lot longer than usual, and I did that just to um, make up for the fact that I've been lazy slash I don't really know with videos this week and haven't managed to get many out to you guys. Uh, but hopefully you have enjoyed it, and check out my video that I posted uh, yesterday if you haven't already. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it, and I will see you guys soon with more content. There you guys.